to the next town. Today's adventure takes us to Saragossa, Texas. It's sort of a ghost town. They used to throw a lot of the trash just on top of the ground, as you can see. And there's a freshly graded area over this way that looks like it might have scraped up a few things that might not have been seen lately. So let's get out there and see what I can find. Well, I never actually find anything doing this. But you can see there's plenty of purple glass, and you know that means it's over 100 years old. But people in the 60s have already cherry-picked every pile in the entire desert region. If they missed any, then the people in the 70s got it. I've been looking for 30 years, and I have yet to find a single bottle worth bringing back. But there's always a small chance a token might show up. But they probably metal detected this area as well. Well, unfortunately, the area that they just scraped over has very little glass in it. So, I guess it's back to this area. I kind of get the feeling I might be... Somebody's watching me, so... I'm sure... I should probably get going because everywhere in Texas is some kind of ranch property, so, and the odds of finding anything over here are pretty slim, but it's hard to resist when you drive by and you see all these pieces of glass that are over a hundred years old, but I better get to some other spot. Alright, here's another good area. A lot of trash scattered throughout here. Looks kind of like the town dump is coming up. Plenty of trash out there that looks like it might be old. It definitely is old. Just look at all that. Plenty of treasure hunting tourists must have come through here already and saw this. But, gotta check it out anyway. Well, to my surprise, these trash piles are not quite as old as I thought. A lot of 50s and mostly 60s. But I do see a Dr. Pepper bottle down there that's kind of a good one. Got the 10, 2, and 4 on it, but... Very stained up, and I already have about 10 of those at home. Oh my god, do you see that? How in the world is this possible? Those Dr. Pepper grenade bottles are just laying all over the ground. I have never seen such a thing. I should have brought a sack to carry those back with. These sell for $10 each all day long. Of course, they're filthy probably have to run them through a bottle tumbler to make them sellable, but I am very surprised to see those here. Somebody must have found so many of them, they left those behind. And look at that. That's valuable right there. You might think, oh, that's just a no-deposit Coke. That is a 32-ouncer. With Coca-Cola on both sides, and a little bitty Coke on the neck. After I polish this up, this is probably a $40 bottle. It's definitely only found in this part of Texas. Well, as you know from watching my videos, I like to find at least $120 worth of stuff a day to make it worthwhile. And I've already made my quota in a very short amount of time because some animal decided to dig and they dug right through a bunch of good bottles there's still one in the hole right there I hope when I reach in there to get it I don't get bit by something there was, there was actually several more even further back up in there 
Somebody must have dumped a whole truckload of them here because everywhere there's another one. They're just all over the place. Yeah, I must have found at least a dozen of them so far. Another thing I like to remind you of is when you find a bunch of stuff, you better put it away pretty quick. I better take this sack back to my car before somebody comes along and says, Hey, that's my property. Leave those here. Okay, here's something a little different. The two-way ACL. I think it's broken off, though. Does it have a town name on it? I don't see anything. It's almost worth bringing back and cutting it off and making a glass out of it, but... I don't know, it's kind of stained and part of the paint's gone, so I'll probably leave that one. And, ten minutes later, I see a single Dr. Pepper just laying back by itself over here. I almost have a lifetime supply of these already now. That's 13 of them. Even though this is pretty modern, it almost looks ancient because it's so badly stained already. It's probably only from about 1971. But look at all that patina on it. I almost want to save it, but I don't think I should. Well, there's one of the older Dr. Peppers. One of the oldest things I've seen today. I'm not sure about this embankment here. Is this an actual city landfill kind of a situation? I don't know. It's definitely not natural. There's a lot of broken glass here. I wonder if there's thousands of bottles buried in here. I don't feel like digging through all those rocks just to see a bunch of 1960s stuff, though. Well, I've looked at every area around here. And the only spot that's really producing anything is right here where I first found all those Dr. Peppers. So I think I'm going to reach in there with my scratcher and hopefully hook up with a few more of them. Yeah, I was right to do that. I just found five more of them. Now I definitely have enough to supply myself for the rest of my life. We sell about one a year, so now what do we got? 13 plus 5, so that's 18 of them. So I think we've had about enough of the 1960s. Let's go look for something older. Well, it's time to do some creek walking in the desert. I just happened to notice this place, and there was a few bottles showing up. They're probably not very old, but you never can tell. Nope, doesn't look that good. I think they're all modern. 